AQA, A-level physics. This is my fourth electricity video and it's about circuits. So this is the part of the specification that we're going to be looking at. I'm covering the basics, the skeleton. Uh, in AQA, you're going to get some really, really awkward questions. You need to know the basics like the back of your hand. Later on, we'll look at some smelly AQA questions, OK? But for the moment, let's make sure that we understand the basics. There are some golden rules uh, to do with voltage and current. And if you learn the golden rules, that will really, really help. So resistors in series and parallel. Um, the first one, GCSE, if they're in series, you just add them together. Uh, if they're in parallel, now, uh, how on earth did I get that? Well, we use uh, these equations here. So in series, you just add them together, R1 plus R2 plus R3, etc. dot, dot, dot. Resistors in parallel, uh, 1 over R, uh, where R is the total, 1 over R total equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus dot, dot, dot. One neat little trick is if you have two resistors the same in parallel, then the total resistance is half as much. So 100 and 100 would be 50. Or um, 100, 100 and 100 would be 33.3. That's a very useful, neat little trick. Have a go at these. Okay, so if they're in parallel, work it out, etc. If they're in series, uh, I'll show you the answers in a couple of seconds. Here we go. And hopefully you manage them. Now, power. Power is the rate of transfer of energy. It's how much energy is transferred every second. Uh, it is the rate of transfer of energy. Uh, w, W stands for work, so the rate at which work is done. Work done and energy transferred are very, very similar. Okay, so P equals W over T. Uh, in the electricity topic, basically, there are quite a few equations which you should learn for power, and it depends on the question. It depends on what information you're given. So if we combine P equals W over T with these two equations, which we've already looked at, okay, P equals VI, or P equals I squared R, P equals V squared over R, it depends on the question. The information that you're given, I think all of them are very, very useful. Learn all of your equations for power. Okay, and then energy transferred uh, is VIT, is also very useful. Okay, power is measured in watts. It can also be measured in joules per second. If you remember that a watt is a joule per second. So, have a go at these. Pause the video, have a read, have a go on paper, and I'll show you the answer in a couple of seconds. Here we go. There you go. And here's a, another question for you to have a go at. Okay. Um, voltage of the power supply, current in different parts of the circuit. The answers are, there you go. Hopefully you got them. These are very simple, straightforward questions. You'll get you'll get harder ones than these. So golden rules. If things are in series, the current is the same and it has to be the same because we're talking conservation of charge. Uh, current is the rate of flow of charge and we can't gain charge. We can't lose charge. The charge has to go somewhere like water flowing in a river. The amount of water flowing in a river must be the same at every point over a given period of time. OK, so current is the same in series and that's to do with conservation of charge. Uh, the voltages across the resistors 
have to add up to the power supply voltage or the power supplies and that's to do with conservation of energy. Remember Colin the Coulomb, a volt is a joule per coulomb. Okay, the, the energy per coulomb that the power supply gives to the circuit uh, is, same, is the same as the amount of energy transferred in the circuit. So the voltages have to add up to the power supply. So the first one is conservation of charge and then the next one is conservation of energy. I'll do a whole video looking at some smelly electricity questions, okay? And you'll see that these golden rules will come in very, very handy.